Oh, I don't need to go to the Apple factory to know my phone has a designer. Yeah. I will look right. at my phone, I will see design, I will see that, even if I don't know it's a camera, I'll see there's circles, they are very symmetrical. Yes, okay, so I know that. I know that when I touch it, it responds. I mean, I know what you're going for, so at the end it's like, um, there's life and there's a designer because that's makes sense because it's well, too it's complicated. Not, it's, it's not yeah, I know that. Like, but, even if I don't go to the factory, yeah, sure. I would know intuitionally, like I would know that this has a design because the way it's designed. Sure. Yeah. So we can skip that part. And um, my question is like, um, what did people think God was? Um, where was God? Like. 5,000 okay. years ago. Okay, so he, they believed that a storm or a volcano, volcano eruption was God, was, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. some people, so For basically, so, a lot of people in history, they always believed in um, paganism. So they, believed, they made gods themselves. So they'll okay. make a statue and say, this is my god. Yeah, but not, I mean, they believed that maybe, for example, yeah, a, a volcano eruption was God. Yes. Uh, but it, the, it, sun, it isn't, yeah. is it? No, it's not, or the sun or the moon. So now there's false perceptions of God. Yeah. And that doesn't negate, for example, if there is one truth, mm -hmm. there might be many lies. Those lies never, just because there's lies, doesn't mean there's no truth. Yeah. So what we see is with people who didn't know better, when they would see a hurricane coming or a storm, they would say, oh, the gods are upset yeah, with us. Right. No. They only say that is because they don't know. So what we see is there is one true God. However, people made their own gods as well, which we say is false. Why is there one true God? There has to be, because for example, you are a uh, contingent being. Contingent means you rely on something else for your existence. Water, food, yeah. warm, and other elements to survive, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so what we see is that it's important for us that you can't have an infinite regress of creative things. So for example, that creative thing relies on that and relies on that and then goes forever. It's called infinite fallacy of infinite Well, universe. just because we don't know how it works doesn't mean it has to be God, no, does no, no, it? No, how it works. It can't work like that. So you cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. It's, it's an impossibility. So you know the infinite. You can't yeah. have infinite in the real world. Infinite doesn't exist in the real world. It's an abstract idea. The I'm not infinite. too sure about that, but okay. Well, infinite has no beginning and no end. Yeah. So, can you show me any example of something that's infinite? For example, it's believed that the universe is infinite? No, because the infinite at what, sorry, at what point had a beginning. And we know in the universe within itself has a properties. For example, there are galaxies within our universe. If, yes. we, if the universe has two less galaxies, is it still the same universe? I don't think I'm qualified to answer that. Yeah, but what I would say personally, if you ask me that question, I'll say no, it's not the same universe. But if we add on or take away, anything that you add or take away from, that's dependent. It cannot be infinite. So if the universe is dependent, what is it dependent on? It has to be higher power that is not dependent on the, crea uh, the universe. But the universe uh, depends on that. Guys, please, enough. I I've got too many. Do you want some? <laughs> I don't want too many. Yeah, my jacket's getting heavy. So what we're just saying in a nutshell, if we think about it logically and rationally, that the universe requires a creator. Why? No, I don't think so, actually. I mean, wouldn't people have had the same conversation 5,000 years ago millions, 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 about yeah. another thing that they just couldn't explain? But, but, because, you know why, I yeah. mean, Maybe there will be an explanation for how the universe was created. There isn't a clear one yet. The, the, well, well, the but, if, uh, but if you have an explanation, you will just be like, oh, but how did that happen then? It must be God. And then we have an explanation for that. You, you will be like, oh, but then, then it, how, how did the thing before happen? It must be God. But I mean, it's an endless, like, you will still be like, there must, it must be God, and I will still be like, there must be an explanation. And at some point, there might be an explanation, and you will be like, yeah, this must be God. Okay, so let me put it like this. We know the universe began to exist. We have different possibilities. The universe came from nothing. Yeah. The universe created itself. The universe was always there, which we spoke about, it can't be. Or the universe was created. Or our understanding of time and space is wrong, and it's just made to survive and not to observe reality. Okay, let's give that as another option, what you said, option number five. Number one, can the universe come from nothing? Maybe. Yeah. Nothing. Zero equal one? I don't know. I mean, can you prove that nothing, it nothing, can't come from nothing? Can't, because nothing? Nothing is the absence of something. Why do you know that it can't? Because nothing is the absence of something. It means there is not a single thing there. 
if you don't have a, not a single thing there, how could something come yeah, from this? Yeah, but that's like, I mean, in our world, that's the case, but I mean... No, I know, but, but, but if you look at it, it's like mathematics. Zero can never equal one, because zero is zero. Yeah, I know that mathematics... Hmm. Can we apply it to our reward? I mean, it can't come from nothing. Okay, okay sure, it can't okay. go from so, nothing. It from nothing. Can it create itself? Mm, now, no. to create itself, it's like my mother giving birth to herself. She has to be there and not be there at the same time. It's an oxymoron. It's like, how can my mom give birth to her own self? Okay. So it cannot create itself. But it has to be there and not there at the same time. No. So, number three, we said the universe um, infinite. We, we talked about why that can't be the chance. You said something about time and space. Time and space. Well, just our perception of reality. Okay. I mean, perception of reality. Yeah. So in our perception of reality, we know that, for example, you walked out of your house today knowing you're going to come to um, Hyde Park. Yeah. You didn't say, maybe I'm in the Matrix. Maybe I don't exist. Maybe this, maybe I'm not real. Maybe you're not Yeah, but I can't prove that that's not the case. No, you can't. How can you prove that I'm not, I'm not a, a program? I can't. Okay, so therefore, are you an extreme skeptic? Like your wife, girlfriend? Girlfriend? Okay, if, if you come and said your girlfriend is programmed, she's not real. Somebody's made a program yeah, and made your girlfriend. I'm sure you won't be happy. I'm sure you want her to be real, okay? So the thing is... Yeah, but the, I mean, I may be a program. Happy. So look how happy she is. She wants to know she exists. Uh, don't deny her. So you know certain realities. I'm going to call my girlfriend. I'm going to go to Hyde Park today for a romantic walk. And I'm going to propose to you. You know, maybe... Is that, maybe? Are you planning on proposing to her? No. What do you mean, no? You have to. If you get married, call me to your wedding, okay? <laughs> the point I'm trying to say is this. You knew some realities and truths when you woke up today. I wake up, I'm going to have breakfast. When I go down, I know there's a kitchen. I know I can make breakfast. When I go outside, I know I have to look left and right or the car might hit me. So you know some truths. Yeah, but still, I mean, our eyes, for example, are made to see things that are helpful for us. For example, we, we see made colors. By, you said made by who? By evolution. They evo Okay, sorry. I, I, okay, I'll correct myself. Okay. Our eyes evolved in a way to make us you survive. Evolved by what? Randomness? Yeah. Um, What's randomness? Recombination oh and mutation. No, no, no. I'm talking about, are you saying evolution is a random thing wow. happening to what give rise to us? What's random for you? Good. So I don't believe in randomness. Why? So for example, if I have a coin and I flip it. Yeah. If I said you heads or tails. Tails. And no. then. The only reason you're saying tails is because you don't know. Sorry, is the sun in your eyes? Sorry, sorry. Is that my time? It's all right. Okay. So, when you flip a coin, if you know all the factors, you will know exactly what the results will be. Yes. So there is actually, no randomness. Um, I believe there is actually, but just on the quantum level, but I'm not an expert in the field, but... Look, we're not, we're not in even quantum mechanics. For example, they did a double slit experiment. Where they fire um, um, these the energy, the protons, okay. they, they fire them and every time they observe it, it, used, it would act like a wave sometimes and sometimes it would act like a particle. Yes, exactly. That was the experiment. Yes, exactly. And then one thing, yes, sometimes wave, sometimes particle. Depending on whether or not it was observed. It observed. Yes. But what's very interesting is this. Every time it's observed, it acts a certain way. Yes. And every time it's not observed, it acts a certain way. Yes. Which shows not randomness, it's systematic. Because the fact that it's behaving one way when it's observed and another way when it's not. What do you know about um, Schrödinger's cat? Hmm. Um, the experiment basically says, well, a particle can be um, in two places at the same time. Well, that's well, but in, th in this experiment, basically, it's, I don't know the English words, but it can be like exi like. Um, broken or not broken at the same time okay. um, as long as it's not observed and then it's connected to a poison which will kill the cat if it's broken and okay. won't kill the cat if it's so basically the cat is alive and dead at the same time until you observe it and that's the like that's completely random it, okay, it is believed okay. at least the only reason we say it's random is because we do not know the factors that cause that to happen what I'm saying is there is no randomness on our earth because what that means, if we know all the factors, we will have the same exact results. So when you crash a car, you can't say the bonnet's going to fly off unless you've done experiments and if they crash in a certain angle, certain degree... Yes, you can simulate it and you know all the, yes. Yes, if you know all the factors. So what that means is randomness doesn't exist. So when we talk about evolution, all you're doing is this. You're taking God's attributes and applying it to the evolution and saying God evolution done it. What we say is what makes more sense? Random evolution or a higher power? that has a will that brought us into being and he's a okay, okay. Now, now I was defending my theory. Okay. Um, 
how is God created? Was he always there? Was God always there? Okay, yeah, God is a necessary being. He has to be always there. If he's not always there, then who created him? Yes, exactly, but so who created him? No, what we see is, <clears throat> to say who created him makes him dependent. We said the, our, the God definition but, is a necessary, independent, self-sufficient being. But didn't I also say that the universe just always existed in that way? You and did, therefore my did. theory would work the same way as yours, you wouldn't did. it? You did, but what that shows is that you accept that we require a necessary being. All you've done is ascribe it to the universe. And remember I said to you, what if we have five less universe galaxies? Is that still the same universe? The moment you can take away or add in galaxies, that universe is dependent. Because what is causing it to have these galaxies? Five, six, seven, minus. The moment that universe had added in or taken away, it's dependent. And if it is dependent, it's dependent on an independent being that gave rise to it. But I believe that our knowledge, we have too little knowledge to actually make, make an assumption on what is real. And therefore, I wouldn't just come to the conclusion that it's God. Okay, but why is it that, with, I understand, we have, I have a limited mind like you, I'm not super, I'm not Einstein. Even Einstein has a limited mind. But why is it, with our limited mind, we say, no God, but we don't say with our limited mind, hold on a second, there is evidence to show that a higher power exists. Why evolution, why mother nature, but not God? I mean... It's, it's, it's simple logic and rationality, think about it. We are created, my glasses, your watch, your socks, your girlfriend's bag, it has a design, it has a pattern, what's a pattern? There's, if it's a pattern, there's a designer, it has to be. So, the universe has design. Who gave it that design? I think in the next hundreds, thousands year, thousand of years, we will have the knowledge to explain this, but we don't have yet. Okay. So it's like okay. hard to argue okay. with you. But okay, 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 but well, isn't that blind faith? If I said to you, if you said to me, for example, if you ask me a question as a religious person, yeah. and I said, I don't know, maybe in 50 years, you know what you say? You say you believe in the God of the gaps. Because you, just because you don't know, you're having blind faith. You're saying, I don't know now, but why don't you choose to say, you know what? Actually, it seems like there is a designer. I don't know who he is, I don't know what he is, but there is evidence to show that there is design. Isn't that better of the explanation? Like inference is the best explanation, because logically, you would understand it's the easiest explanation, but... No, 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 it's the cleverest explanation. Not easiest, it's the smartest explanation. Okay, but then, um, let's go on. Oh, Why is it your the police is here. They're here to arrest me. Don't, don't let them see Again? <laughs> um, Why is it your God and not any other God? Good question. High five. Okay, he's a uh, strong man. You must marry her, otherwise I won't come to you with <laughs> Okay, so now, very good question. Why, why Allah, I'm Muslim by the way, why Allah but not Jesus? Yeah? I want to go. Uh, does she need to go? Oh, I'm, two minutes, I'm wrapping up. Yeah, yeah, please, she needs to go. We need to look after her, please. Okay. Anyways, so the point is this. The God that we believe in is very simple. He's self-sufficient, he's independent, and there is nothing like him. Now, Christianity, they believe Jesus is God, yeah? Uh, no, actually. They do, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they believe Jesus is God. But it's like complicated, but Jesus Trinity. is God and always yes. also not God. But, okay, good. Okay. Christianity said Jesus is God. Hindus believe in one million gods. Pagans believe tree and uh, these things they make with their hands is God. The difference between Islam and all these religions is one thing. We say anything that's in the creation, walks, talks, doesn't talk, tree, statue, pole, none of these can be God because all of these things have a beginning and have an end. They're a creation. What we believe is in a creator outside the universe. So the question you ask is why Allah but not Jesus? Because the God we believe in is not a man. We don't believe okay. that has like, you know, um, he's like has limbs. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, because it's in a higher being exactly. and other... Exactly. Okay. And then why um, does Allah care about... I mean, I don't know your beliefs yeah. that well, but yeah. just for example, um, that women have to cover their faces. Good, good I don't question, good question. So, for example, we believe, for example, that God Almighty not, has created us and He knows what's best for us. So as a Muslim man... So we are men or human or higher than all the other animals, therefore? Yes, 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 we are. So therefore, God Almighty, for example, Why? when somebody Stop. creates something, He gives a manual. And He says in this manual, this is how you, you should use this product. For example, when you have a phone, they say don't put it in water because it might break. Yeah. God Almighty knows the best for us. Now, 
when women cover up, in Islam we believe a woman should cover up except everywhere, her hands and her face, doesn't have to. Some believe the face, some, but, but why? I mean, you have to manual, no, why, no, no, why no, let me tell do you why. disagree? No, let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, why do women choose to get their nose done, their backside done, their breast done, their hair done, makeup, wear mini skirts? Why do they find the need to dress up in this way? Do they choose to or are they forced to? I think we should ask your girlfriend. It's, it's, it's just I mean, she doesn't feel like she has to. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Well, if I can just make this assumption yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you, would you not agree? Societal pressures, the beauty industry, your other friends, how you look, beauty, uh, makeup beauty enhances your beauty. So therefore, we can't say that she chooses to wear makeup or dress a certain way. It can be that society okay, pressures men? cause her. Same with a man, same with men. Not just women, same with men. Some men go to the gym, they try to get steroids to get bigger. Why? Yeah. Not because they choose to, it's because they believe if I look bigger, girls will be attracted to me. So, the difference is this. A woman who wears, dresses up in a miniskirt or wears a makeup, and the woman who wears a hijab, they both have no choice. One follows what God said, the other follows what society says. So, Do you feel like you follow what society says? But that, that is more of that is more of like like you can't really say that you know why because beauty industry it's a massive industry. There's a book called Beauty Sick. I recommend you, your girlfriend to buy it. So Beauty Sick talks about women are made to feel ugly and that they have to look a certain way. Do you know, for example, the uh, the industry, um, the beauty industry? Yeah. Yeah. Getting your nose done. Do you know how many people I know in my family who get their noses done? Do you know they have to smash your nose? They have to smash it, put it together. That is crazy to me. Is. Why would a woman choose to go to the levels of getting her nose done, her eyebrows done, her cheeks done, her breast done, her backside done? Why? So I say because societal pressure has forced women to look ugly, feel ugly. But it's, also, so Islam, Allah also wants that. No, no, no. no. Islam, wants to free them no. from. Islam says no. You know what Islam says? She is. She has more to offer than her beauty. She is a human being, she can be a mother, she can be a doctor, so much to offer. Why beauty? Why only beauty? That's why, one of the reasons why a woman covers up is because we are men, we are visual creatures. But then Allah cares about a lot of Allah not that imp important yes. things, but he also doesn't care about different things. For example, he doesn't say which political system is the correct one, does no, he? No, it is, it is. Islamic uh, political system. We have an Islamic political system as well. And how does it work? Like he does, does he say dem democracy or? No, not democracy. Okay. Democracy, uh, democracy is a joke. You have three people that you pick. Which one? All of them have the same agenda. And then he does wrong. Okay, next one, next one does the same thing. I'm Swiss, I love the democracy. Yeah? Are you making I, I, I me studied, I studied democracy. What? Are you studying democracy? No, of course not. Okay, what country from Germany? Swiss, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, we have Swiss, a lot of... She, uh, lady, um, Switzerland, who's the president? Is it a woman? Um, we have seven presidents. Oh, okay, interesting. So look, what Islam says is the following. Islam says, God Almighty has created and he cares for us. He wants paradise for us. He wants us to have eternal peace. But does bliss. he create paradise with his rules? With his of manual, course, there always has to be. The Quran is the manual. So we believe. Do you think Quran... that women um, who live in um, Muslim women are happier because they live by the Quran? Well, to be honest, I would say every woman and every man would be more happy if they follow the Quran. So, for example, I think there, was, would, there would be. You know why? There was a study carried out of 100,000 people in from the 1950s to the 1970s and they did a study in america and britain and they look at the happiness between men and women women are less happier you know why because of feminism because feminism has given this idea of you're a career lady don't have children go and work and then you have women now at the age of 30 who cannot get married and they cannot but due to their biology they cannot their chance of the eggs you know being fertile is less now they are less happier. So what feminism has done is destroyed women. And if you look at women, do you think women are more happier? Why does a woman find the need to put makeup before going outside? Why can't she just go outside? Why, why does she have to get her nose done? This is oppression towards the woman. But isn't like you dressing with your... But as a Muslim man, I have to cover from my navel to my knee. When I go swimming, I can't be topless. I no, but I mean, you, you have to dress as well. And you, it, would be more, it would be more convenient for you to just wear a t-shirt. But you do it anyway. No, no, no. But why Islam tells me that, for example, I have to wear baggy clothes. I can't wear tight clothes. Yeah. So as a Muslim man, I, Allah tells me in the Quran, tell the believing men that when you see a woman, look away. Look down. Why? Because it teaches Muslim men, which is very important because we don't teach, our, we always blame the woman. We don't teach our sons to stop looking at women in a sexual way. You see a woman in a bikini, look away. You see a woman in a hijab, look away. You see a woman in a niqab, look away. 
because we are visual creatures. We as men, we get visually stimulated. So God tells us, tell the believing men to lower your gaze. Don't look. So what that means, don't sexually objectify women. And then what does Allah say to the woman? You also lower your gaze, but also cover yourself. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, Islam, deals, like, Islam deals with reality. Equality, okay. No, but why is that not equality? Oh, she needs to go, she needs to go, she needs to go. No, it's okay. I don't want to hold you. I'm so sorry. I don't want to ruin your day. Look, it was nice discussing with you. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Ali Dawa. Uh, I do videos on YouTube. Um, okay. So, so you can check my so videos. So I'm kind of famous now. So you made it now. I'm gonna sign a record deal. You're gonna be Dawa Records. Uh -huh. um, and, yes. To our sponsor. Yes. What's to our sponsor, sponsor? <laughs> Colgate, uh, okay, for brushing our teeth. Uh, you can brush two times a day, please. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Don't nice. forget, you have to marry her. Islam says. If you love her, you have to marry her. <laughs> speak to her dad. Have you spoke to her dad? No. You have to speak to her dad. Tell him to speak to her dad. As you can see, guys, we are enjoying the good and forbidden evil. You know, we want the best for everybody. Uh, till next time, where's the camera? Oh, there it is, everywhere. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.